Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Finger Guns Podcast with Tony, Dave, and James. I am your uh, Muadib co-host, Jimmy, and I'm joined, as always, with the tastiest of Tony B. Yeah. Dave, the destroyer of worlds and occasionally booties. I appreciate that. And we're also joined with our, our special little guy. Yes, we are. Our sweet, sweet boy. Our, Our sweet, sweet boy, boy. Avnish. Yes, I have ridden here today on Shai Halud. I appreciate it. <laughs> all the way, and I am ready to go. I'm going to light the altar yes. of our Shai Halud. We're currently recording at my at my table with uh, the Dune popcorn bucket surrounded by two candles, because, <laughs> I mean... I was going to say, that's our that's our other special guest, is Mr. Shai in, Halud. In Shai Halud, yeah. <laughs> we brought him here to talk about Dune. We need to take a picture so we can put this on socials. <laughs> You should probably take it now because the, the candles are going to go down. You, you do you from your angle. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this is a very, a very okay, special episode. Fun. We decided it was special enough to bring on a whole guest uh, to talk about two things tonight. I'm yes, very sir. excited to do it. How yes. are we all feeling on this beautiful Monday after... Uh, I love it. I love that so much. <laughs> I I love you it. all will see the photo in a little bit. <laughs> or you already have seen it. I have to remember that you guys listen to this not live. Um, how are we all feeling on this wonderful Monday after daylight savings and then the Oscars? It's nice weather today, and apparently it's going to be 15 yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, nice. Even though it was snowing yesterday, that's good. Well, fuck daylight savings. Well, the, yeah, like, that, I mean, that yeah. killed me. But we, we were literally just talking about <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah, it was. I'm I, almost, I took a nap downstairs. <laughs> I'm ready for like you know the moment in 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 society where we can just get rid of it all together. Yeah, I don't really day. see a need. There's certain places they don't observe it in certain places. The Saskatchewan doesn't observe it. Yeah. Well, you know, they What's don't deserve it. it. They I can actually deserve say deserve. They don't deserve it either. <laughs> uh, apparently, I can't fucking talk. Um, they don't observe it in Dominican Republic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. There, there we go. Um so you know where Tony's going. <laughs> there. There. Yes, this is true. Uh Tony, did you get rid of the plague? Um, tuberculosis has been defeated for now. Thank you. I may have a cough here and there. Yeah. Um, but I have you had to be uh, in the iron lung for two yeah, weeks. I did, I did, but uh, that's why we couldn't record our bonus episode last yeah. week. Well, you yeah. know, you guys could have done it without me, but you know, you guys, you guys, you guys that? need your Tony B, you need we fucking do. big tasty in your lives. We do, <laughs> it's not the same, it isn't. I just noticed you have an ER shirt. I am I'm wearing my <laughs> ER shirt tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm the, the only fan left, <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. You I, see, I watched like I watched the last the few word. episodes. Is that like an old show? Like yes, yeah. yeah it started yeah. in the uh, in the nineties. Uh, it was like George Clooney's oh big break that one before no he way. jumped over to movies. It was like his yeah. just sort of big yeah. TV break. That was his big break. Yeah, well, where he's a doctor, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. John Stamos, John Stamos, Noah Wiley, yeah. Anthony Edwards, Anthony, Anthony Edwards. Edwards. It's a good ass show. Yeah, must see TV Thursday nights. It was. It, it was. was for the longest time. Of the day, yeah. That was sixteen point- seasons. That, that wow. was appointment viewing, son. Yeah. That was appointment yeah. viewing. Now we got Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. It, it, which is on its what, twenty first season? Twenty twentieth. Yeah. Fucking God. Yeah. Main character's not even fucking in it anymore. No, none yeah. of the main characters are <laughs> in it anymore. I don't I even think, know why it's called Grey's Anatomy. I think the two I think two of them are still there. That were like the support area. Supporting yeah. Supporting ones. Yeah. But, but no one important. Yeah. Basically. Anyway, anyways, we're not here to talk about Grey's Anatomy. We're here to talk about the Oscars and we're here to talk about Dune Part 2. Absolutely. So let's, 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 try to let's dive it. right the hell into it. So you want to start with the Oscars then? Yes, let's start with the Oscars. Since it's hot off the press, fresh last night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chris Nolan finally won Best Director. Oh, man. And his movie won Best Picture. Oppenheimer took seven Oscars. Most people thought it would go eight or nine, but it took seven. Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, Best Editing, Best Cinematography, Director, Picture. Original Score. Original Score. score. I think I'm I'm missing any. I don't think I missed any. No, you got them all. I got them all. You have them all? Yeah. I have my little ballad in front of me. Yes. Um, yes, 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 yes. I didn't do too badly, folks. I feel pretty good. Yeah. How'd you do? 16 out of out of the 22 possibles. 23. 23. 
23 possibles because I can't count, but still 16. <laughs> wait, so then, wait, hang on. Did I do this math right? Maybe I, I will count, up. I'll count you out. Hang on. I might, be, I might be tied with Tony. One, two, wait a minute. Three, four, five, six, seven. The eight, glimmer of nine, hope in your ten, eyes right 11, now. 12, 13, I'm so excited. 14, 15, 16. 16 out of 23. Okay. 16 out of 23. So my 16. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, you, you guys keep talking. You guys keep talking. Hang you guys on. keep talking. Well, I got, Tony, you got 17. I got 17. Yeah. Uh, I learned, I'm going to learn my lesson. I learned my lesson the hard way. I did my picks 20 minutes before the show started. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what really pissed me off is everything that I didn't get was my next pick. Like yeah. if I wasn't picking yeah. what I was going to exactly. pick, I was going to pick yep. that and a fucking one. Yeah. I'm really angry. Yeah. Really angry. But you know what? I'm for the first time. I am not mad at any of the winners. No, they were all well-deserving. Everyone like the big, the big, um, the big snubs, I would say um, best actress, obviously um, that one, that one hurt a little bit, but you know what? I was kind of glad that Emma Stone grabbed it, got it. And then um, best sound, best sound. I did not expect to go to uh, your favorite. My favorite, fucking John, yeah. fucking Glazer, Jesus <laughs> fuck. Um, yeah. yeah, but I, but I respect it. And you know what? It is the better. It is the better sound movie for sure. Yeah, because it's fair. very. It's. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the Zone of Interest. I know Dave has. I was beside him at TIFF, <laughs> yeah. um, cursing his goddamn name. Um, the the sound design in that movie is absolutely haunting, and uh, it it sticks with you for sure. Wait, Avnisha, did you do, did you do the double feature? Am I remembering that right? Uh, that you were going to do the Zone of Interest back to back with someone else? I did Zone of Interest and both things. Yeah, that was the double feature. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a hell of a double feature. Yeah, yeah. That is a that is a day. Yeah, that is an afternoon. <laughs> yeah, Zone of Interest first, and then followed by both things after that to end on a okay. high at least. Yes. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah I, I agree. Sort of somewhat sound, up more yeah. upbeat, more uplifting. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, same. Like I would have loved for Oppenheimer to win more, of course. But uh, sound was—it was just so integral to Zone of Interest. The film doesn't work without that sound design. It doesn't have the effect it has if not for what they're trying to accomplish with the sound over there. So I was okay with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that I did feel a bit conflicted on. Uh, I really wanted Oppenheimer to take adapted screenplay. Now, American fiction, good movie. God gave one of the best speeches of the night. So I'm happy that that moment occurred. But I just think, and I know we're being greedy here, but Oppenheimer's screenplay is just, I, I, it is sensational. Like the way it's all juggled, put together. The fact that there's so many things happening all at once and what a task it must have been to even put that together from the book and make it somewhat coherent i think it's as essential as like the editing was in terms yeah. of giving it that flow and yeah that one yes i'm happy for cord again great speech but i watched american fiction and i didn't come away thinking oh this is a terrific screenplay even though i liked it it mm. didn't leave me the with best that thing wow. about the movie next to jeffrey wright it was it, jeffrey wright in the screenplay those were the two yeah. things that were good got nominated for best original score you want to talk about something it didn't deserve best original, original score. score yeah it see, did not deserve that nomination even right then you said the screenplay was good which i agree with you did not say it was great oh sensational oh, i'm you know, i yeah. like it winning yeah. and Outside of the zone of interest, which had no business being an adapted screenplay, <laughs> I think all four of those screenplays are rock solid. And yeah. I would have been fine with any of them winning. No. Yeah. I agree. I am fine with the win. That was just if I had to be greedy for Oppenheimer to get one more, that was one I felt like they really did deserve it. And I know that's often not, you know, something that matters in the Oscars. And I like that they've been doing this new thing that we spoke about in terms of spreading the wealth. That's something they've done more often in the last few years. So I completely get all that, but it's yeah. because they, um, because of the new rules and the expanded, yeah. the expanded categories, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's the best thing that ever happened to them. Yeah, James is itching to tell you he tied you. It's seventeen. 17. Oh, yeah. fantastic! <laughs> I, what happened was towards the end of the show last night because I was watching it with Dave. Yeah. Um, he took my pen to mark up his sheet, yeah. and then I didn't mark the last two, oh, <laughs> oh, which shit. didn't matter because one of them was uh, one of them was actress, which I got wrong anyway. But yeah. I didn't put a check beside best picture, so I counted without counting my best picture. You should have just there checked it from the start. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> it was almost a guarantee, but you never know. Apparently, people at the beginning, because poor things kept winning at the beginning, they're like, "Oh, maybe it's poor things night." It's like, 
No. No. No, it no, never no, no, was no. going to be Poor Let Things Poor Things Day. have its moment at the beginning and I'm just happy Poor itself. Things won because they were going in and people were like, it might not win a thing. Yeah. So I was happy. Which would have been did. really unfortunate. It's true. It's true. I got 19 for the record. Yeah, yes. I understand. But I should have picked Me and you had the... Me and you had the exact same picks other than two. Yeah. And it was only because I went for the safe, I went for the safer choice in the one and uh, the other one, all of the predictions was pointing to that. Which one? Uh, It was like, the booking ABC documentary, the documentary show. Show. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went ABCs of, of is book yeah. banning as well. Oh no, that's the wrong. No, one. that's Which animated. One? If you're that's gonna fucking call me no. out, fucking call me ABC's out. Of the line. Uh, <laughs> ABCs of book banning is what I went for as well. Last but it was the last shop. repair yeah, shop. Yeah, last repair, repair shop. Repair Again, shop. I was on Disney gonna, Plus. Fucking, sh- I was looking at it. I was like, that's the one that's gonna win. But yeah. you know what? Everyone else is predicting this one. I'm gonna go with that. You know what, man? Do not make your picks 20 minutes before the show starts. Searchlight, LA Times, like it had, it had the heat, man. Uh, the key, not according to not the critics to most of the yeah okay well i need to point you in the right direction because everybody i was reading was picking last repair shop again 20 minutes before the show started i did not oh, have this, them neither time this is a you problem yeah it is. No, actually it's a daylight savings problem because <laughs> yeah. i fucking fell asleep and i got the whole fucking night picked out and then passed out passed out and then i got screwed up from there the Oscars were at seven o'clock now. Since when we've been begging hey, this year? Hey, right? hang on a minute. I love <laughs> being at seven. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Let's, let's that's say, a double edged yeah. sword <laughs> yeah. being at seven yeah. o'clock. It was amazing that yeah. it was at seven. Let's, I loved it. Yeah, it started at seven o five, and we were confused that there was it's, commercials. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, is it, what, what, is, why is hasn't Dave started? Like, are yet? we live? Yeah. Am, I, am I on PBR? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, it's freaking out. Of course. And then, um, but the yeah, fact that it wrapped start. up at ten thirty, I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, ten twenty six! Like, like, yeah. like, yeah, three hours and like, like, twenty minutes." Yeah. Yeah. But like, come there. on, it was like t- I remember this because I was like, Mel- Melissa wanted to get up and make something. I was like, you know what, Mel? There's like, there's two awards left. Like, it'll be done. It was ten oh seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, ten oh seven. And then you said it. It, it ended 10, at ten twenty six. What the fuck, guys? Couldn't they just? Did they really need a commercial break between? Yeah, absolutely. Best? No. No, they could have just needed, wrapped that up. They needed to sell you one more Rolex. <laughs> of course. That you can't afford. <laughs> fucking Rolex ad. That I think was my Jesus. favorite thing but about them always. is the only one yeah. that can afford this goddamn Rolex. They're always showing this goddamn Rolex thing. And I understand that Rolex is a big sponsor of the event. I get it. But, like, do you understand <laughs> who's watching the Oscars? Who's going there going, you know what I need that I've never thought about buying before? A Rolex. The fuck? They sell themselves. What do you need the ad for? <laughs> so true. I just, Go spend fifty five hundred dollars on your watch. In in the past, they've had like someone talking. Like I remember Scorsese was in the yeah. ad. Yeah. Jim Cameron was in the awkwardly ad. awkwardly sitting like this. Yeah. Oh, uh, Fonzo <laughs> so, Curon was in that. Yeah. Was yeah. in that ad too. Yeah. yeah. Like they were in the Movies ad. Movies are right, with this <laughs> like, giant yeah. fucking Rolex but on the them, wrist. It's them talking. Yeah. And this one was like clips from movies, and I was just like. With like some of these with characters, sure if they would just like CGI Rolexes. a Rolex in, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. Like, what do they have Rolexes for? Yeah, yeah. Avni's just sitting over there. He's like petting his Rolex. Like, <laughs> yeah, I did not have his rings no, are no, not no, on no. the table. No. What are these motherfuckers <laughs> talking about? <laughs> these pawpaws no. over here. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I just, I get why they do it. Like that's the thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it just makes sense. It's too good a fit for the brand, but yeah. It's just uh, one of those things that you just get desensitized to working in advertising, I yes. suppose, yeah. after a while. Yeah. But yes. uh, but I was very happy with the fact that they ended before time. Yeah. Like, it just gave it a nice, smooth flow. It didn't, you know, feel yeah. like it was running over. And yeah. uh, I'm sure it was better for, I heard a lot of people, especially Dave can attest to people who have kids. It was just nice that the show yeah. was starting at seven and ending at 1030, as opposed to running until 1145 Midnight, East Coast yeah. time, which yeah. it usually does. So they should I, stick to this. Yeah. <laughs> look, it's like the 96th Oscars. Yeah. They've had God knows how long to figure this out. 96 years. Like, <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> like the biggest hurdle they had was they move it up an hour and they properly schedule it for three and a half hours. Done. Who knew? <laughs> yeah. Who knew that would be all you needed to do? Yeah. <laughs> Cause they never schedule it for three and a half hours. Even when it starts at eight, it always ends at 11. And then at like 11, like 23, they're like, Oh, we're really running over, guys. It's like, yeah, yeah. You do this yeah. every year, so good 12, on them. Twelve oh five, best pictures <laughs> being yeah. freaking announced. So yes. Good on them for finally Everyone's figuring like half shit out in the yeah. chairs and the theater because it's so goddamn late. Yeah. God bless them for finally figuring shit out. Um, 
can I also mention that? So there was one, there was one thing that like a lot of the internet was, was going one way on, on the visual effects category. A lot of, there was a lot of heat behind the creator. Oh yes. A lot of heat. It yeah. looked, have you and guys I, seen it? No. Uh, yeah. Have you but seen it? Looked, it? I have. The, yeah. how, the, the how sequence did, that they put in. Talk, talk to me yeah. about it. How are the visual effects? Cause it, yeah, I haven't seen it, but it looks incredible. It, but it was, I didn't love the movie. The mm. visual effects were fantastic. And I think. Yeah. It had a lot of heat and momentum at a lot of the visual effects specific committees, I think, because of how innovative they were and how right. they deployed the visual effects. And they were able to use certain cameras that really kept the cost of the film down and nice. such. Like I, Because it's, yeah. it's low budget, right? Yeah. It, like I lower, mean, lower, lower budget. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's yeah. like $80 that's million. Dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. uh, for, yeah. for, for a science fiction action movie yeah. like that, that's, that's unheard of. Yeah. yeah. No, well, like, it also starred nobody. John David Washington. That's like that's like four <laughs> Madam Webs. <laughs> oh my god! All the freaking all the jokes towards Madam oh, Web man. like yeah. just hit it every I time. I love it. I love it. John Mulaney though, when he uh, <laughs> the way he worked yeah. it in with yeah. the oh we get great Such lines, lines. Like that. that was so good. And apparently that line isn't even in the movie. I haven't seen the movie, but that's what people have said that they'll they yeah. Come, I heard it's yeah. not. I heard yeah. it's not in it. It's, it was just I think in the trailer. Yeah, but yeah, um, but it's it's a good line. But the creator, yeah. Incredible visual effects, especially for what they were able to accomplish at the budget that they did. Yeah. But I think the the Godzilla, the passion for Godzilla yeah. and the Godzilla team, and also a result of you know, I guess the expansion of the academy and the uh, want to um, sort of you know recognize as many international films as possible too. And yeah. Godzilla just looked fantastic. And yeah, the the narrative of the creator was, oh, look what they accomplished with what you know this these advances in technology but then godzilla comes along and there was that whole press cycle of the film has like a 15 million dollar budget and then look at what they've so done with what that they accomplished yeah of course a lot of that comes from the fact that labor over there is cheaper and labor exploitation over there is different which this is not an endorsement of any of that but <laughs> yeah. uh, the yeah. narrative and the passion for that movie i mean you want to see a good moment right yeah. like the fact that all of them were there with the godzilla toys it they was were they were yeah. everywhere with those yeah. freaking yeah. toys i yeah. loved yeah. it and he had his little bow tie i yeah. loved yeah. it yeah. i loved yeah. it they did them dirty though they're trying to trying their best to speak english and they had they had um, a framed photo of one of the producers and as they were as they were cutting it they said like he died so he wasn't able to be there type thing. So they were trying yeah. to honor him. Yeah. Yeah. They're playing them off. They're playing them yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. So that was um so yesterday, and maybe I just imagined this, but I think there was some disparity in the playoff times. Like it seemed like some people were just allowed to talk, whereas others were played off like right as the timer ran out. So yeah, no, you're yeah, right. No, yeah, you're no, right. You're definitely it's, right. Yeah, it yeah. seemed like they did let people talk. Yeah. But when they got to it, like the timer and they they weren't wrapping it up. Yeah. They started to. But if they were like close to wrapping it up. Right. I think they just let them go. Yeah. It was just hard since they were all, you know, not native English speakers. They were just, just trying their best to get through it. And yeah. it's just like, yeah, of course, they're going to talk a little bit slower. They're 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 doing their best. They were yeah. doing their best. And they were very excited, too. They were very yeah. giddy. Like when they won like oh, you yeah. could see the excitement yeah you could see what everybody... it meant to them and then like that that's that that's what to me that's what the oscars are all about right like it's those it's those underdog stories it's like it's it's that real crowning achievement like i was gonna riot in the streets if if godzilla didn't win visual yeah. effects like <laughs> yeah. that is the that is the only choice that should have been on the ballot now i wanted now i wish they lost because i wanted to see footage <laughs> yeah. of you yeah. rioting yeah. in the streets it's, just, it's a riot of one but, yeah. it's but, a riot. but like you know what i mean like i just i just remember that video that yeah. went viral when they got when they saw the that they got nominated yeah. and like that whole room just erupting and of course yeah. all the godzilla action figures on the table yeah. like you you can see what this what this achievement means to them and like i'm so happy that they've got it i cannot wait for what they do with the franchise if they get do a minus one sequel or if this guy gets recognized in the states and he's able to do a big a big budget movie on this side um i'm really excited for what he does well, the, the director i mean there's a 
There's a new Godzilla movie coming out in a few weeks. No. With no. <laughs> no. Where he rides on the back of Godzilla. <laughs> no. No. I'm all for that fucking movie, but like I I, I really want a minus one sequel for sure. And also, 70 years it took Godzilla to win an Oscar. Right. Yeah. 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 But I'm glad it was I'm, I'm glad it was this one because in my I haven't seen as many uh Godzilla movies. Friend of the podcast, James Whitson, would probably beat me uh to death. But uh this one's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. And yeah. It also did really well. Like when we talk about the conversation with the creator, I think Godzilla, and you might have to fact check me on this. I think it made more money domestically than the creator. Probably did. Yeah. yeah. Domestic yeah. box I mean, office. It, it, so, it's yeah, one of these. Yeah. It's, it's one of those let's rare. Let's get the notes together. Yeah. You, can, you can get the notes. I was yeah. going to say it's one of those rare occasions though, where a movie came over from Japan released as, as normal and then had a vibrant re-release cycle in black and white that yeah. like had a life of its own again. And I was like, that's well, so it was only, rare it that was that only happens. supposed to be out for like that one week in December yeah. and it stayed in the theater until well into February, man. Yeah. Like that's yeah, insane. Yeah, the playoffs were still showing it deep yeah. in February. So. Right. And then they even had a, re- they had the re-release when the black yeah. and white version came out. Yeah. And I unfortunately did not see that. I want to, I, I want to get, get my hands either. on a copy of that for sure. Yeah. That movie needs to come the fuck out is what it needs to do. <laughs> Avnish is right. It made more, it made more money. Life. There you oh, go. Damn. And it made more. It made like two million more overall. Overall, though. Even though, back to the creator and to Avnish's yeah. point as well. Like that, the breakdown that they had in the Oscars where they were showing the VFX, I was like, holy shit! Like this yeah. looks incredible. Yeah. Um, I want to see it. Still. Yeah, I want to see it. What you guys were saying about Godzilla being there longer. You can thank the strikes for that because yeah. they pulled a bunch of movies out <laughs> yeah. and they're like, hey, this movie's still doing well. Th- people still go to the movies. Maybe yeah. we should keep this movie yeah. in the theaters a bit longer. Put it on the IMAX <laughs> screen. It's going to be great. And this is complete speculation. It's something that I read on Twitter online. I, I don't know how true it is, but apparently the only reason that it didn't play even longer was mm. because there's some kind of agreement they have with Warner Brothers that since they have a new Godzilla movie coming uh, out, yeah. then within a certain time frame of that, yeah, they, they can't have more than you were across. You're, you're right, because well. yeah. I saw something similar to yeah, that yeah. too, that uh, to, uh, Toho, Toho, Toho and uh, Warner Bros., they have an agreement that they can't come out. They can't yeah, have yeah, a new yeah. Godzilla that makes out sense. at the same They don't want to cross the brands yeah. up. Right. And, that's so. what, and that's also why we don't have it on Blu-ray yet. That was yeah. what I was about to say. That's why, that's why. That's why you don't have it yet. So they're waiting for that Godzilla yeah. movie to come out first, and then we'll yeah. see. The, There's you, a fancy hmm. Japanese edition that's coming out. Yeah, I was going to say, you're, you can import it from Japan if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I won't. <laughs> I, got a few, have, I got a few thousand yen to spend. Oh, it doesn't have any English subtitles. Otherwise, I would get it. If it had English <laughs> subtitles, I would have. I would get it. I'm gonna learn Japanese. It's hey, Denis Villeneuve said you don't need the dialogue, man. It's all about the <laughs> images. All so about just, the images. Yeah, you don't need those <laughs> subtitles. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. It is a little hokey, but I would still prefer to have my English <laughs> subtitles. Um, since we were on that topic of it doing well in the box office and staying sure. around longer, we might as well cut over to boy in the heron which was the same yeah, thing yeah. it came out and it did well because there was no competition against it yeah. mm-hmm. and it was number one if i'm not mistaken yep. got to number, which yeah. is unheard of yeah. for that kind of film yeah so are we happy that miyazaki son oh, took, took his second oscar or are we like um the guy who plays uh miles morales who was very upset about it yeah he said they were yeah. robbed right yes so, he did i think so personally, I liked Across the Spider Verse more, but I liked Boy and the Heron a lot as well, and I was happy that it won because it just seemed like Across the Spider Verse did win last time. It'll also have right, it, it, yeah, the first, the first one, one won. Did, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it will also have an other chance to win with the third one. So if whereas this is Miyazaki's last film, I mean, so. we don't, that's what he last. says. But he yeah, always kind of drop that. Yeah, but at this point, he's like what ninety eight. He's eighty three. Yeah. yeah, but if on this close. occasion, close. Yeah, close. Yeah. Close. <laughs> like if they made that choice, I think it was it was just a good choice, and maybe it'll get even more people to watch The yeah. Boy and the Heron and check out Miyazaki films, whereas everyone's already seen Spider Man. So that's another thing that the Oscars, I believe, should do when they um, award films that maybe might not be as mainstream. It encourages people to watch those. So, yeah. No, that's true. That is exactly yeah. true. Also, and- when I think about Across the Spider Verse versus Into the Spider Verse, Across is fine, but I'm still waiting on them to stick the landing before I give it its full. I yeah. love I love that movie unabashedly. I was fine with where it ended. I was good. Yeah. I'm very excited for the sequel. I'm mm. hoping it also sticks the landing. 
but there was something about boy and the heron last night when i was picking and i was yeah. just like yeah i think it's going this way i think it's gonna go this way if anyone wants to cry about being robbed it should be the entire team of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because that movie deserved to be in that fucking category. Yeah. I don't care what anyone fucking says. That movie deserved to be in that category. Yeah, you and know what shouldn't have been there? What? Elemental. Fucking elemental. Yeah, yeah. One hundred and fifty percent. Yeah, it's decent. That was it's well, decent, but we it all know be why there. Elemental's there. Obviously, because no, it's, it's just, a Disney movie. Yeah, because <laughs> they have to. They have a standing slot in the animated category for a Disney movie every year. I think. I think they missed it when Cars was out. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I was just happy that Namona was there, man. Yeah. yeah. Namona's really fucking good. I've also heard good things about Robot Dreams. I, I really want to want- see it. Robot Dreams comes out in May, man. Like, I want to <laughs> yeah. see oh, We missed Robot Dreams at TIFF. I've heard nothing but good things. Yeah. And there's no dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. It's but a yes, Denny Villeneuve I, special. Yeah. Visual storytelling. <laughs> but yes, Elemental should not have been. Yeah, and that should have been your, your team. Yeah, that should have been it. Turtles. Should have been it, man. I agree. Um, what other things happened last night that uh, that either surprised you? Well, that entire segment we were just talking about with Mulaney. Yeah, Mulaney starts. Zone of interest wins sound. I love how they did. Um, how they showed the nominees. It was just yeah. the sounds. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Didn't no, it was name very the good. movie or anything. It was yeah. literally just the sounds. And when you're listening to it, you're like. Yeah, it makes perfect sense with yeah. Zone of Interest one. Yeah. But Mel- it's still Melissa, really cool. <laughs> Melissa was we were we were watching it and Melissa goes, Tony, was that screaming? I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Melissa. That's the entire fucking movie. <laughs> so, that's a real feel good picture. Yeah. <laughs> exact same thing. I watched, so I hosted an Oscars party. A bunch of my friends came over. Um, none of them except me had seen the zone of interest, but yeah. I had told them about it. Mm. And so when they played that clip with the sound. One of them asked me if Niche is that what the movie is like? And I said yes. And he was like, never gonna watch it. Like, yeah. Straight yeah. up. Yeah. 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 It's 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 hard to get through. I've yeah. explained that I've explained that to some of my coworkers and like the one scene, the one scene that I uh explained it was the uh the beach scene when they're in the when they're in the water or in the the river scene when they're in the water and then all of a sudden the dad like panics and, and takes right. I explained that in length and they've literally like their faces went white as a ghost. They're like that, that. That can't be real. I was like, nope. Oh yeah. Nope. That's, oh, that it's real. And real. it and it goes on for a long ass time. That is a very real scene. Yeah. I really want to watch it again because I was not in the right frame of mind no, that day. <laughs> definitely not in the right, right frame of mind. And Tony was very upset with me <laughs> for taking him. <laughs> this isn't going to be a big thing, Dave. Can we go back to Mulaney for a second? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Do. So he did. We all probably watched that. Um, monologue of his that went viral from the governor's awards oh yeah when he was hosting yeah. and that yeah. was like his that was very Aces. good audition Aces. in a way to yeah. one day become a host and so he came on last night and expectedly just starts killing it great jokes right off the bat but here is where he kind of and i'm gonna like just zag a bit here because i love what he did it was still funny but he kind of lost me and all of my friends in this bit because None of us had seen or heard of the film Field of Dreams. Okay, well, <laughs> this is a blind spot you need to correct. <laughs> yeah. I've never but, seen Field of Dreams, but I know the, yeah. the yeah. line is what everybody remembers yeah. from Field if you of build Dreams. It, yeah. Come, yeah. Like when he started describing it, it was just funny. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like, I've never seen it either, but I know the line and I know the gist of right. Ghost yeah, Baseball. Yeah, yeah. Ghost <laughs> Baseball, Cornfield. Yeah. So we, if you build it, they will they come. Will it's come. pretty, much, it's pretty yeah. much spot on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So like even though like we got the joke, we were like, oh, so this is what he's doing. He's just describing this whole film yeah. and he's being all charming and sincere yeah. about it, which was great. But I just feel like if we had seen the m- m- movie, we would have just it would have landed even harder, maybe. But overall, but, like he should just host yeah. next, next year. Yeah, like, he definitely right should because yeah. he was amazing. <laughs> that Did entire it. segment was great. Yeah. Into zone of into zone of interest winning, which was kind yeah. of a surprise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like people definitely thought it would have been Oppenheimer, and then. Right into I'm Just Ken, which brought yeah. the house down yeah, and was incredible. Possibly the most um, passionate and well-received performance yeah. since Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga did oh, yeah. Shallow, yeah. I would yeah. say. Like, that was the last time that I think one of the musical performances got this level of buzz. And our boy oh, yeah. Simu was yeah. there. I was going to say, yeah, your boy Simu was yeah. there. Oh, that's funny. The other, the other, the other will gentleman never, was there will too. I never, never remember his name though. It will never not be weird seeing him. Yeah, it's never strange, not right? be weird. 
I need to. F- I I keep saying the other guy, but I need to know what his name is. I always forget his um, name. It's on the tip of my tongue as well. Kingsley Banadier. Thank you. He was there go. as well. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, oh, there's Simu, and there's the other guy, Kingsley. Kingsley. Kingsley, Kingsley Banadier. Yeah. Yes. And I think there was some other actors who were there. There was that too. definitely some other Kens there as well. I would have loved to see. Uh, and then fucking Slash yeah. shows up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that got me so off guard, but it was incredible. Was. I was like, oh my god, it's Slash, and she's like, who's that? And I was like. One of the greatest fucking guitar players who, of all time. Who checked, who checked him out of the nursing home? <laughs> <Right. laughs> hey, I saw him live a few years ago. He still got it. He has he still, still got, got it. it. He yeah. still got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, like Gosling really pulled it together because like yeah. he kept like smirking and like there was definitely moments where I was like, he's going to start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> but he kept going and just... And, and when uh, he had the when he brought the cameraman over, yes. yeah. that was great. Yeah. Who, who was wearing a Ken hat? <laughs> yeah, it was wonderful. But yeah, very good choice to get um, some of the audience involved as well. Oh, so yeah. they got a chance to sing and celebrate too. And there was this little moment that went viral online where Gosling is singing with um, Emma Stone. Oh yeah, and yeah. of course, you know that's like yeah. a La La Land sort yeah. of like throwback or whatever. So that was cute. Yeah. But yeah, just unbelievable segment as you so said good. yeah so it was yeah. so it was, good it was, it was definitely the best like musical moment of the night yeah well yeah. um billy eilish's performance it was, was incredible as well yeah. and everybody was like crying and laughing yeah i was gonna say laughing crying and clapping for it but yeah, yeah. as like a crowd pleasing moment there's nothing better than that yeah. and i don't know the other songs the other songs felt like they were shortened but what it, some of them so I I know they maybe don't want to have too many from one movie or how all of that works, but I feel like they could have gotten Dua Lipa. Like that was one well, of they the kept bangers. Playing the, of the, they kept yeah, playing exactly, the song. exactly, yeah. and that would have just added so much energy to it. And at one point in the night, one of my friends turned to me and was like, "Avnish, uh, this song is it like a song from the Hunger Games? Because it like the stage was all fiery and stuff." And I was like, "No, this is a nope. this is a song from Flaming Heart. It's a movie about Cheetos." <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, what the flaming hot Cheetos? I was flabbergasted. I'm like, I cannot believe the flaming hot Cheetos movie has a fucking original song I turned, nomination. I turned to Melissa and I was just like, I just wanted to let you know that uh, Cheetos movie that we saw in the summer, it is now Oscar nominated. <laughs> flaming hot. Flaming hot. <laughs> Guys, Diane Warren. That was a. That was Diane a, Warren had a song. Sure. It was in the Cheeto movie. She had to go. Yeah, it was a. It was a. It was a that's Garbo. why Dua Lipa did song. It. <laughs> they needed to make a spot for Diane. They had Diane she Warren. Also, she <laughs> also has like a static placement in the fucking Oscars. Like it's, it's her, her fi- Disney. It's her fifteenth. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I was literally just listening to our podcast from last year, and we go. Yeah. We had this exact same <laughs> yes. moment yeah. where we're going on about Diane Warren. Not, at, at that time, it was her fourteenth. Oh, jeez. So fifteenth this time. Wow. But, uh, to come back oh, to it's her Billy. <laughs> So Billy, Billy, great performance and uh, youngest ever two-time Oscar winner now, yeah. probably yeah. twenty-two yeah. years old. So, yeah. good question for the boys: um, out of her two wins, which, like, if you have to play a song right now, what are you playing? No time to die, or what was I made for? Am I limited to those two? Oh, those are her two wins. Oh, which which, which do you prefer? What probably that the- guy. Probably the bar, oh. probably the Barbie one because I absolutely loathe the freaking No Time to Die yeah. theme. <laughs> I, I like uh, no, I like I no like, time to I die. like the No Time to Die as a theme. I yeah. I think Barbie is good and I think it fits for what it is, but it's like uh, I can't listen to it regularly. It's too sad. Yeah, it's I like sad. I really like No Time to Die. They're both I, very I good very and they both deserve their song. Oscars, mm-hmm. but. And it's yeah, better. No it's, a bond. It's, better it's better than, than you, a Sam yeah. Smith song. If you yeah. sing, yeah. if you yeah. sing the Bond shit. theme, you are definitely getting an Oscar nom because, yeah. like, if you go through all of those themes, how many of them got Oscar noms? Well, they're also all bangers. Well, yeah. obviously, except yeah. the gar- it's all bangers. Except the garbage one. That one was but garbage. The, I fucking love that one. <laughs> I hate that one. And um, uh, oh, you better not say Chris Cornell. No, oh, buddy, I like Chris buddy, Cornell. If you the one say Jack White, I will end you. Jack White. No, fuck you. The Jack White one. I that one comes on my Spotify regularly, Get the man. Fuck out of here. Another time to die. Of course. Right off. So good. That song. So good. Right, so it, bad. right behind uh, Madonna's <laughs> Dying of the Day. That song's bad. <laughs> that song yeah. is also bad. She played it at her show. Daniel was at that her show. That song's oh, bad. That's awesome. I was like, fuck, man. I wanted to be there for that. No oh. Die Another Day. No And then she showed you. up in the movie. Right. And the entire opening opening like bit is him just getting dr- like yes. waterboarded. Yeah. 
God. I am due for a rewatch of Die Another Day. Oh, you're not. That would be so bad. <laughs> you're that not going to so like it. This bad. is going to be this is going to show up on Tony Tony remembers this movie better than it was. <laughs> My dad was pissed at me after we left that movie cuz he's like, "What would you think?" I was like, I really need to gather my thoughts on well, this. He was going, he was going like rambling on like how amazing it was, right? Because yeah. my dad loved James Bond movies, and Dave, you could tell Dave was a little bit conflicted on it, <laughs> yeah. and he didn't want to. He didn't want to annoy Dad because if you said the wrong thing to him, sometimes he just whatever. Yeah. Um, so he was like, he gave the most diplomatic Dave response. <laughs> I'm I'm collecting my thoughts, and for the rest of the night, Dad didn't let him forget that he was collecting his thoughts. <laughs> yeah. And that was like younger Dave that probably would have just liked Die Another Day yeah, probably. without even thinking. By the I, way, I did like Die Another Day then. I've watched it since. I don't like <laughs> Die Another Day. I think I liked it better the second time I watched it. But yeah, I, I haven't watched it. But I watched it like long, four or five times when I was like twelve time. or thirteen. That's what it is. It's a Bond movie for twelve year olds. Yeah, absolutely. But the vanishing Aston Martin in particular is a is a and treat. On, and on the ice. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy with all the fucking diamonds, diamonds in his face. In his face. Yeah. I will not be watching it after this conversation. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How dare you? Come on. If you, if you want a trip of a James, have you watched the other James Bond movies? Like uh, the non Daniel Craig. I have seen Sean Connery and Daniel Craig. Those okay. are the two Bonds. Okay. Yeah, so you're good. Yeah. yeah. You're good. If you want, if you want to see if you want a trip. Check out the Pierce Brosnan ones after Goldeneye because Goldeneye straight fire. Goldeneye's but great. The, the other one, the, the other, other ones, ones are a little. It's a choice. Mm-hmm. I saw probably, Tomorrow probably... Never Dies recently. Yeah, it's not Michelle Yeoh. It's not. Yeah, but not Michelle Yeoh and and the big bad is uh, Jonathan Jonathan Price. Isn't Jonathan it? Price, who's just like the head. He's a of media like, mogul. A media yeah. mogul. Yeah. He's yeah. the big bad. Jesus uh, Christ! Again, a choice. <laughs> I think you'd like Timothy Dalton. Because Timothy Dalton yeah. was not liked at the time, but he's very close to Daniel Craig. Like when Daniel okay. Craig was doing his shit, you're like, this is what Timothy Dalton did, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, it's he definitely just, on my long list to eventually get through all of them one day. Like, yeah. It's a it's a good watch. I mean, the Connery stuff's fine. Roger Moore is uh Live and let die. a real hard one to get through at times. Banger so- soundtracks though. George Lazenby, honestly, pretty good. <laughs> Honor mm. Majesty's Human Service it. gets a lot of hate, that but it's yeah. actually quite good. Um, and then yeah, Dalton was just ahead of his time. He was ahead of his time. Just in the wrong the era. Is a banger, banger theme. But we didn't come here to talk about James Bond. Yes, That'll be could. the special James Bond yes. episode. Hell yeah, we gotta watch twenty five <laughs> fucking movies. I'm 26. good with it, man. 26. I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, actually, we should just jump right in, right over to that. I was reading on Twitter that apparently. Killian Murphy is the the front runner to be the new James Bond. And Get after the winning fuck out after of here. winning Best Actor last night. I have a hard, I have a hard time believing he's gonna be he's like yeah lock me yeah, down yeah lock me down for five, for five more yeah. movies I'm almost, I'm pushing fifty but lock me down for five yeah. movies you're telling I mean, me to, what, what's his name in Peaky Blinders Tom, Thomas Shelby yeah you're telling me Thomas <laughs> Shelby is gonna be the next James Bond it's, it's not a fucking it's about chance. time we had an Irish Bond <laughs> we did Pierce Brosnan oh, Irish, Irish. Irish. Irish all right it's the second Irish second Bond. Irish but yeah. Gotta I really, do it in his native tongue, though. Yeah, he, yeah. Killian was very good, and he's the only one. This is what I was looking up before. He's the only one who said thank you to all five of the people yeah. presenting presenting the the yeah. nominees. Everyone else, like someone got snubbed, or fucking Robert Downey Jr., who just like grabs it and just basically ignores Kiwi, who's yeah. our boy. And I can't stand for that, RDJ. I can't stand for but that. He did do the makeup. Like he got a bunch of pictures with him I later. Know. And I that's I know, become, but it's the it's the moment. Yeah. And I feel like especially after like not to digress too much, but there was this moment at the Grammys, right? With Taylor Swift um, you know, sort of snubbing Celine Dion and going for Which these, is which you don't do. Yeah, but it's the fact that it's happened now in that award show and in this award show, it does make me feel like it's just something, you know, these people are humans at the end of the day. They you get on that stage. The moment, yeah. Kind of thing. yeah. They, they see the timer clicking and they just don't process it to yeah. that degree. Well, RDJ perhaps doesn't give just, a shit yeah. about the timer. He's going to do whatever he wants. <laughs> well, even, even Devine Joy Randolph, she like, she thanked Lapita and maybe yeah, and, one other and then just went right up. But yeah. Again, well, that's like, what, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Killian was the only one. He was a perfect gentleman, genuine gentleman, yeah. who just 
and up and said thank you to everybody. To all of them. Yeah. Including he, he had the oops all bangers of a day as inclu- though. Yeah. Including my boy Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Who, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Him 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 saying what he said to Giamatti, amazing. Yeah. Like no notes. Yeah. Perfect perfect distillation of Nick Cage. <laughs> when I do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. 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 <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, I saw this one uh, tweet online about how just making the comparison, how all the actresses, they were so uh, sort of composed. And when they spoke to the nominees, it was all like, oh, you're like a beacon of light. And what you did is so meaningful. And then all the dudes were just like, yo, that was sick, man. <laughs> like, yeah, good job. Like, like, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. Did you guys like that? I really they I did. did it years ago when Heath yeah. Ledger won, and I really liked it when they did it then because I rewatched clips from that that night. And it's so good, so I love that they brought it yeah. back. Yeah, I liked it. To the, I, I know I some people it, hated it. I, I thought but. it made it a little bit more personal, like because they were talking about that specific person and kind of praising them. Yeah. I think it it made it a little bit better and then let them jerk them off a little yeah a little bit <laughs> but they were like, one likes but they were like on they were honoring them they were honoring yeah. them they had their own little bit like i like the i like the personalized message and stuff and like you could see how some of with with some of the messages like it really it really hit the nominees for sure like you saw a lot of them just tear up like um uh go from yeah like she like freaking was just like Waterworks Central and like even well, I think Sterling that was K- also because she's friend, K. Brown. But I think it's also because she's friends with Lapine. exactly. That's what yeah. I. Yeah. That's what They're I mean. All friends. No, like, but like, like, do you really think America Ferrera is friends with um Rita? What's her name? Rita Rita, Rita Moreno. Rita Moreno. Maybe. But like to get a to get a friggin' sp- yeah, speech, speech from, from Rita, Rita Moreno, Moreno like yeah. that that's huge for her. And like America Ferrera is not gonna. She's probably not going to be back at the Oscars anytime soon. Never say never, but never say never, never obviously, say never. but like it's a great like uh it's a great prize in itself. Yeah. Like yeah. if you are one of the nominees who is not going to win, then getting that speech from someone that, and having that, that moment the, that's on the you, award for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, and that sort of recognition in that room, I think it plays better than like the clip, especially considering everyone in the room has already seen everything and voted on it. The one time like so I've, of course, seen all the films as well, so I don't need to see all the clips, but I was watching with my friends who aren't all of them cinephiles and they haven't seen all the movies. And you think of how many millions of people are the same who are watching the Oscars. And in that case, I feel it might be better to at least show some clips so mm-hmm. people have an understanding of what is being nominated or recognized, yeah. like actually see the actors doing what they do. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I liked it. I don't have a strong opinion on it, but maybe some combination of both, maybe. Or the last time they did it, were there no clips as well, or was yeah, it no clips? Uh, no clips. Yeah. yeah, exact, the exact yeah. same. Just bringing people out and doing talking exact, about talking, it. and yeah. then they open the envelope type thing. Mm. You saw color purple. Not that one. <laughs> I meant, uh, I, I, I need to correct myself. I saw all the best picture nominees. Okay, yes. there, okay. we, go. there yeah, we go. There we go. Yeah, color purple, Rustin, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. not all of those. Nyad, yeah. I, I, hey, I, I saw Nyad. I saw Rustin. I know you saw Rustin. I Congratulations. saw Nyad. Rustin was a good one. It might have only been you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> t- all of Tiff saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did I pick instead of Rustin? Fingernails. I saw fingernails mm. instead of Rustin. Yeah, I want to see fingernails. It's good. Fingernails would probably be it's a fucked, better choice, but it's yeah. good. I have two. Two things that I was going to kind of talk of on a negative side. One, my most forgettable moment of that night, the thing that I'm literally struggling to remember, uh, whatever the hell Melissa McCarthy was doing. Oh, yeah, that was bad. That was I don't even, so bad. They were I don't riffing. even see. Yeah, it was did bad. I miss, did I, did I miss that part? Because people were talking about Melissa McCarthy, and I did not her see her. Her and Octavia Spencer went up to present, and yeah. they started riffing. And it was it was non terrible. It was uh, just not even funny. There well, wasn't no one was laughing. I don't even remember seeing it. So that should say something That's to you guys. Nonsense. It was forgettable. Yeah, it was and bad. The thing that I wish they kind of did better, and I don't think they've still they haven't. I don't think they've cracked the best formula for the in memoriam section. But I don't think this one was it either. Oh no! It was no, it wasn't. It, it was, was awful. 
the it was nice to see Andrea Bocelli. I thought he was dead. So <laughs> great. Was, was, was um, like, is that? And I was like, yeah. I, I don't even know what he looks like, but like that yeah. would make sense. <laughs> yeah, it was Andrea Bocelli and his son Matteo Bocelli. Oh, that makes even um, more sense. They're both tenors, so yeah, cool. And like course. that was a cool thing to see. But like the fact that they decided to shoot it, never really cutting to the actual screen presentation. You were always just like in the audience yeah that was strange whatever the fuck that circle of names at the end was yeah. where i was like i yeah Bert, that was, Bert young was at the who? bottom i was like come on oh. he deserves more respect than that like well, it, they, they do that every year there's always somebody they forget which is fine i was going through i was going through it and i was like oh my god they actually got like they got everybody yeah. and then i saw at the bottom Bert young and i was like but even, man, why be why why uh, why treat, you doing treat, Pauly, treat Pauly Pauly williams did. wasn't up there either buddy they did paulie dirty you don't do Polly dirty. Yeah. Well, they had a, Apollo was there, Tony. You know what? Oh, fine. fine. <laughs> no, no, no. Still, still. Polly and, Sha- and Shaft was there too. Yeah, Shaft was there. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I thought the way that they shot it, because they were never cutting to the screen either, it was kind of hard to keep up with the names sometimes because it was like, oh, you're focusing on Drea Bocelli's face. But if you look kind of in the background, there's a name. I think it's the first time they've never really shown the clips properly. Yeah. Like, I remember the other times... And there wasn't any clips except for Navalny. Yeah. Like, I remember the other times... I like that, that with Where, like, Navalny. there's, yeah. like, inter, like small interludes, and then they cut to what's happening on the stage, and then they'll yeah, go back. Exactly. this one that was always watching from the end. Is that... Is the In Memoriam... Is that where Jamie Lee Curtis came out with the puppy the one time? Right after the, it? Was it yeah. the Oscars? Yeah. Where she came out with the puppy, and she was talking about Betty White or something? Yeah. Was that the Oscars? Yes. Okay, that year was awful. Yeah, that was <laughs> and, the most yeah. awful year, yeah. This, that's what this I mean. year like, was I just as bad, but yeah. I thought Billie Eilish did it the one year, and she did it really well. She did. But they did the clips and cut to her, and yeah. then they cut to the clips. So yeah. yes, it's entirely because it was in the audience. Yeah. So I'm sure if you were at, the, at there, you might have liked it a little better. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just... I. I I, the way that it was shot, the way that they decided to film it was not was not it. It wasn't a very good in memoriam section. Yeah, we and don't need the dancing. Yeah, yeah no, we don't I need didn't the need the two yeah. people doing the ballroom yeah. dancing off to the side. What the fuck does that do yeah. for me? Also, to your point about Polly, Richard Lewis, who just died, was on that list. <laughs> well, they Richard. showed they it's showed Richard picture, Lewis. Though. They showed a picture of Richard Lewis. No, he I just know. died. Yeah, I remember. I saw it. <laughs> but I was very wow. surprised when I saw that. I thought he was definitely going to be left out. Also, it took them forever to show it was Andre Bocelli, and they didn't announce that it was Andre yeah, Bocelli. So everyone's no. just like, "Who the fuck is this Bucelli? guy?" I genuinely yeah. thought it was Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Oh my I god! Genuinely <laughs> thought it was them. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like Catalina, Catalina wine, wine mixers. mixers. Catalina fucking wine wine mixer, man. Yeah. No fucking Catalina wine mixer. Do you know what we're talking about? I have no idea. No. I've Amish, never seen. My you sweet need boy. to watch Step Brothers. Yeah. The f- yes. You I haven't do. seen. Stra- you haven't seen Step Brothers. No, it's not a good movie. It's not good. It's not. It's funny, but it's funny as fuck. It's funny yeah. as fuck. Yeah. And there's a, the climax takes place at the Catalina wine mixer, and they, they John they do C. Riley and yeah. Will Ferrell do that song. Yeah, <laughs> I will watch it one day. <laughs> yes. Fuck, I'm popping it in when I get home, pal. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has it on DVD. It's very Excellent. scratched. Oh. I have, I have it on DVD as well. I was gonna get out for Also it. very scratched. Yeah. No, uh, friend of the podcast, Matt Layden. Uh, always, so always does, delivers. Is that, does that yeah. work? Cellophane. Oh, well, we're going to find out. We're going to find <laughs> yeah. out today. Yeah. All right. Lily Gladstone, Emma Stone. Yeah. How are we feeling? If it had to go to someone, I'm just glad I went to Emma Stone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was between if, the two of them. If anyone, if anyone was gonna was gonna get it, it was gonna be Emma Stone. The other one that I wouldn't have been upset about was uh Sandra Huller. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sandra Huller. 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 Because she is absolutely incredible. James, sure. you need to I know you I haven't know. seen it. You need you need I, I to, know. buddy. I know. Apparently that wasn't the real messy. Apparently it was a stunt messy. Are you fucking? Apparently he me? didn't get the he didn't. He I literally to told Melissa time. it was the real dog. It wasn't the real dog. Fuck. She I love I love him clapping. Yeah, <laughs> I saw, that was great. I saw I saw a picture where it's yeah. like a guy's like wedged yeah. under the seat. Yeah. With the paws. That was a great argument for uh, practical effects. Yeah. You know, oh, like yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Dog oh yeah. But I do wish it was yeah. Lily though, because I don't know her performance was. Emma Stone's performance is very good. Emma Stone wasn't so much shocked when she got it, so much as she had the look of, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
which I thought it was the best performance she's ever given in her entire career. Yeah. I love that movie. I love her in that movie. I agree. She's incredible. So I, I also am not upset, but it would have been nice for it to go to Lily. Do you guys think she should have category frauded herself and put her in supporting put herself in supporting? Mm, no, 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 no. And so I, she was rightfully there. Yeah. Not like yeah. Michelle Williams, who shouldn't have been there last year. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. she was, she was categorized correctly. And I think she went after the one that she should have won, but, she just unfortunately lost out to another knockout performance. knockout performance and that kind of sucks and the the optics of it doesn't look great not but, at all no not at all um i, I think. saw a good argument even for like why she should have still run in this category regardless of the outcome because it just sort of announces that you are a lead actor especially yeah. when you're fresh into your career and apparently she's already booked lead actor gigs now great like good so she has more projects lined up That's she's good. been around for a so, little bit yeah like it's not like she's it's like her fresh her first role, no but yeah. yes this is her first major yes no you're right you're right but because she lost, that means there have been three Martin Scorsese movies that have gone zero for 10 at the Oscars. Yeah. So is that even like, how is that statistically possible? So <laughs> why, why did this happen is what, let, let's talk about that. Why do we think this happened? Of course, both incredible performances. I think it, it was a win-win situation. Whoever yeah. got rewarded, like, you know, both did amazing work. With as long Lily as it wasn't to- a net. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. Annette, well, Annette's yeah, very yeah. good in Nyad. Jodie Foster's better, but as long as it wasn't Annette. Yeah. <laughs> like with Lily, it would have been just a really nice story with Emma. Now she's a two time Oscar winner. She gave a really sweet speech, I thought. She was funny, heartfelt, all of that stuff. And, and they she both, broke her dress. Yes. That is the, yes. Most, that is the yeah. most Emma Stone thing yeah. to happen. Yeah. Like Yeah. And they were both very friendly and campaigning on the trail together sort of supportive of each other and lily had the same kind of enthusiasm for emma that emma had at sag for lily like when they showed the reacts reactions but another podcast i listened to point was pointing out how could this be that because the academy is becoming so international and poor things is a yorgos film whereas something like killers is just so american and things like that now are weighing into you know how these votes break out at times well that's that's exactly how glazer ended up in best director yeah and probably how godzilla and boyhood and Mm -hmm. the heron won as well is the more international vote Mm -hmm. yeah and even um anatomy of a fall winning best original screenplay that was also an international movie that was also the best original screen i understand that but it's also an international movie yeah you're right you're yeah right, you're right yeah yeah france really shit the bed on that one well yeah fuck <laughs> france for their yeah. reasoning behind that we would have had a race if they had some an anatomy <laughs> oh, yeah. of fall like we would have had between yeah. that and zone it would have that, been that would have been, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. been insane yeah. um yeah, I don't know. I uh, First of all, how dare you cheat on us with another podcast? I was going to say that too. Um, what the fuck, man? I'm not naming them. It's just to bring <laughs> in... Better fucking not. Yeah, it's just to bring in a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but my second thing yeah. is, I, I, I think you're, you're onto something there, but also yeah. like everything that Killers was up for yeah. was in a disgustingly hard category to, to win in. Every um, category was stacked. Yeah. Like it was a hard it was a good it was year. A good it year. was a very good year. And it unfortunately, year. Like, yeah. I would have liked to see Marty win something because I love Killers of a Flower Moon very I much. Robbie Robertson to win. He died in his well, first nomination. Yeah. yeah. But that that Oppenheim yes, cool. I like, know. Oh I know, but it's not it's it's not it's not interstellar. Dave, it's I know not you, interstellar. I though. know you have your notes and you can read your notes, but can you hear your notes, Dave? Yes, that's, I can that's hear what the this notes. is about. Yeah. I can hear yeah. the music. Yeah. It was just I think it was just gonna be a tough year overall for But how does that keep but happening? I mean, yeah, the fact that it happened he again. Keeps making like, Irish Irish movies. Gangs, gangs in New York. York. Yeah. Like at least Gangs in New York isn't a widely loved movie. True. That's people like the Irishman. People really like Killers of the Flower Moon. I, I just think, don't know. And I think more so. Like Killers of the Flower Moon not winning anything is a really odd thing that yes. happened. Less so than Irishman, considering the Irishman. And yeah. it's not as you said, like it's not the other two are not as well loved as Killers, which is very much high a love praise. Movie. Like, yes. I think it was the number one critic, like critically acclaimed, critic wise, naming their yeah. top movies. I think Killers was the number one. 
Yeah, but like every category that it was in, it was fucking stacked. Like Leo didn't even get nominated. For nope. Christ's sake. Do you think the streaming of it plays into it at all? The fact that it was an app, and I know Coda just won, but you know those Co- Coda's Coda. Coda's a whole Coda, yeah, but like a those, whole other ba- barrel of fish. Yeah, but those two years were sort of pandemic influenced, and now that we're back to. And even though Killers got the big theatrical release, yeah. might there have been a sentiment of just, oh, Apple doesn't need this, so we don't want to give this to Apple again? Oh, yeah, Maybe. Possibly, Maybe. but like yeah. I never felt that way because it had like a proper theatrical yeah. release, because it had a proper run before it even ended up on, on Apple. Like Apple's actually... It only <clears> just <throat> showed up on Apple <clears throat> recently. Yeah, if if anyone is trying to sort of play fair within you know, keeping the theater for a theatrical Apple. experience. Yeah. Apple's the only one actually trying to do that. Like Netflix doesn't give a shit. They'll yeah, just put it out for a week and say, Hey, we, we better our, our minimum. That was the same thing with the Irishman. Irishman yeah. was only in for a week and then they immediately dropped it on Netflix. Whereas yeah. like they had a proper release and everything. And like the boys just said, like uh killers was just, just dropped on streaming. Yeah. So and it the, was a wide release too. Yeah, Netflix yeah. releases aren't wide. Yeah. yeah. So if, if the Academy was going to award anybody for, you know, actually that like it should be that. Like the it that should never have been a detractor from Killers of the Flower Moon. Like that's the wrong battle to pick. Also, I didn't realize Napoleon got so many nominations. It, it, kept, fuck showing Napoleon. Up, it kept showing up. No, I all the places it, all yeah. the places it got nominated, it deserved to be yeah. nominated. Yeah, in. sure. But yes, I'm not a big fan. Do you, you did you like it or did I you did it? not like the movie, but I agree that all its nominations were deserved. Yeah. And yeah. the categories it was nominated, fair enough. I just for, I just didn't realize it got nominated so much. <laughs> so <laughs> like every time it showed up, it was like Napoleon. Yeah. And that one just dropped on Apple Plus recently. Yes. R- yeah. When are they dropping the four R got? Is oh that even God. coming? Oh God. <laughs> I'm, Soon. Still, I'm still waiting for the uh, director's cut of House of Gucci. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You want, more, you want more Jared Leto? I want more Jared Leto. You don't baby. need any more. me. It's me. <laughs> you don't need any more Jared Leto. You can't handle more Jared I Leto. I cut the fabric. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just taking, uh, coming back to Marty, is he just taken for granted? Like the, the ah. greatness is taken for granted, so they don't feel the need to maybe recognize it. It took a long time it. to it even a, yeah. get recognized once. Yeah. yeah. And it was I, for The Fucking Departed. And it was The Departed of all movies. Yeah. Like, good movie, not top tier Marty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a remake. You think it's top tier Marty? Departed's perfect. And a, it, but also it's departed a, is like legit perfect. But it's it's based on another property, homie. Like none of his originals, none of them. Okay. Aside from aside from the 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 I was gonna say the Holy Trinity, but I don't know what the third one would be. Aside, <laughs> Raging Bull. Okay. Yeah. Trinity. <laughs> yeah. Raging Bull. Goodfellas. Yeah. Casino. Aside from those three. Where the fuck is Taxi Driver? And Taxi Driver. <laughs> the Quadrilogy. Quadrilogy. Get casino. <laughs> taxi Driver. Okay. okay. The Holy yeah. Trinity. Trinity. What about King of Comedy? Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sakes, guys. <laughs> After Hours. Last Temptation Wolf of, of Wall Christ. Street over the Departed. <laughs> Put that in there, dude. Yeah. Silence. Hugo. Do not. Hugo. Do not get on me about fucking silence, buddy. Because I literally both of us were struggling to stay awake during silence. I would say. Well, it's in the title. I mean, it's going to put you to sleep. Exactly. I would say it's my least favorite of his last few movies. Yes. But anyway, as someone who's prolific as Marty. Seriously. Um, I just don't know what else he has to do. <laughs> Adapt another Japanese movie. Oh yeah, literally. God. Literally. I was going to say return to his roots, but he did that with the Irishman and yeah, got completely that, overlooked. Yeah. Is it is it the the length? Is that what it is? Because Jimmy mentioned it in the fucking opening again. Is the, it the length? Joke. They're too late. They're too is long. The joke? Length? Oh, yeah. Fuck off, Jimmy. Is it the length with Oppenheimer winning what it won? Exactly. And people, it made almost a billion dollars. It was yeah. three hours long. And it's mostly talking. Yep. <laughs> Walking and talking. But yep. people did feel the length more in Killers than they did Oppenheimer, I feel. Because of maybe like, I don't know if it was the pacing or what it well, was. Well, yeah, like, it was more meditative and you're supposed to be, all, it's also about yeah. white guilt. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It was, I love both films, but I did read a lot online that 
people found Killers the more challenging watch to get through. And in a lot of those, I know we shouldn't put any stock in these things, but even in those anonymous ballots, sure. some people were like, oh, they didn't even finish the movie. <laughs> so could maybe maybe that maybe is that playing is a part. Yeah, and they could have. Yeah. But can we stop complaining about them being too long? Like, we it, don't need it. Like, I we are a podcast that loves our we're sub pro, 90 minute we're movies pro 90 but minutes or less you know what if it's gotta be three hours it's gotta be three hours yeah and people have this habit of always rounding up like a movie will be 245 and they'll be like oh this is a three hour long movie actually if you take the credits out it's a two and a half hour long movie like <laughs> yeah. that's how long you're actually going to be watching but yeah. yeah the length the length this course has become a bit exaggerated yeah especially when all our highest grossing films are long movies it's long like, yeah. fucking movies yeah, yeah those yeah. were jimmy's worst bits i think yeah. ripping on the length of the movie it just feels so overdone at this point yeah and when he mentioned about animation being for kids again when we literally just overdone. had del again. toro yeah. Yeah. last year saying again. saying outright yeah. it's not just for kids especially yeah. with the movie that ended up winning yeah. which was arguably more for adults than it yeah. was for kids so. exactly yeah. actually like all of those movies are much more adult themed than they are genuinely kids movies. Yes. Yeah. And those were a few where you just feel like someone as seasoned as him. It's like, you know better, Jimmy. Like, exactly. why? Why go there? Why yeah. take the low hanging fruit? Like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, I thought he was fine. I yeah. thought he, I liked, I, I liked yeah. a lot of his jokes. Yeah. I liked the bit with John Cena. I thought that was funny. That was oh good. my <laughs> God. That was incredible. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> I don't think he was too mean to Robert Downey Jr. You know? No. You you did dr- you did drugs, Everyone, Rob. Everyone's knows. gonna mention it. Yeah. Like you got to get over it. If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh exactly. at? Exactly. Yeah. You can't be the only one that gets to joke about it now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it seemed like Robert didn't really mind that either. And something that I heard Jimmy say in an interview, talking about you know where's the line with like making fun of the guests and celebrities and all of that. And he mentioned that for him he feels like he can get away with these things a bit more because there's a level of comfort he knows these people they've hung out together they're almost friendly in a way they've been on each other's like you know robert downey jr has been on his show how many times at this point but come contrast that to the globes where it's uh joe coy who isn't really fraternizing with people in the industry and then he comes out and starts ripping on them that's not gonna go down well but with jimmy they feel like oh it's like one of us making fun of us you know so it's a bit bit more palatable (laughs) but he also didn't blame his writers for his bad jokes he just kept going like like a comedian should yeah Yeah. (laughs) true 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 but yeah john cena was great as well john cena was excellent that was a lot of fun i saw somebody mention online they were they were like clutching their pearls like oh my god john cena's showing up and he's naked and it's during the family hour when families are watching and it's like well he was he was covered up yeah that was the joke was he nothing. was covered yeah. up. Yeah. Just because he was t- like, if you know who John Cena is, you've probably oh. seen him without a shirt on. <laughs> many, many times. I've and seen his those jorts. cum gutters many times. <laughs> and the jorts. In the jorts. In the jorts, yes. And of course, there were also people who commented yes. and been like, I don't see anything. The blank there. stage. The blank stage. <laughs> what, is, what, are, what are they doing? Man? Which is talking to nobody. Up, yeah. Which again, if you know who John Cena yeah. is. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. He is comedic gold. Like whoever so unlocked his comedy over the last few years, like he should. Like I remember there was a time when he just did like generic action shit. Yeah, but then I don't know. Was it blockers or did it happen even before that? Whenever, Probably even before that. Yeah. He was in Sisters. 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 He had a yeah. bit part in Sisters and a bit part in Trainwreck. And yeah, know, yeah, he was, yeah. Trainwreck, he was yeah. trying to be serious, I think, but he was jokey, right. very jokey. Yeah. And so I think Blockers was just like the one where he just like went for it. Yeah. Perfect. Like use him more like that. I have not seen a Ricky Stanicki yet. But oh, Tony saw Ricky Stanicki. <laughs> he is the best part. Okay. Of course he if is. You, if you take John C. Or John C. Riley, fuck. <laughs> uh, if you take John Cena out of that movie, that movie completely falls apart. <laughs> As written and directed by Oscar winner Peter Fairley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But I also think the reason John Cena works so well is because he's not afraid to poke fun at himself. Yes. Versus yes. The Rock, who is very deadly serious and will not do something like that. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm glad that John Cena is leaning into it and not going by way of The Rock. 
Yeah. Well, that he, is, started, he, started, he started like it, right? And like with those generic action movies, because that's he, what The Rock did, right? The generic action movie's fine, but I just mean from then. But the Rock had charisma. He did, John yeah. Cena didn't really have the charisma that The Rock he had, did. Yeah, he hadn't figured that out yet, but at least now he's not heading down this like, I need to be polished. I need to do the exact oh, same no, thing. Oh, no. He's just, he's just having, a fu- he's having a fucking blast in every movie that he's yeah. in. Yeah. Whereas The Rock is so. Oh, fuck. I can't well, even. Now he's making an A24 movie with Emily Blunt. He's going he's for the Oscar. Her. He's in a rebuilding phase. Yeah. She needs to be. Yeah. Yeah. And who's it? Uh, it's one of the Safties that's directing it, isn't it? Ja- no, Benny. 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 Probably Benny Safdie. Benny. Yeah. yeah. Nobody cares about Josh Safdie. Yeah, fuck Josh. He, he, he needs it. He, he, needs the, he needs the rebrand because he's just such a polished fucking... Well, stone like the of the like hierarchy of the DC of DC it was never changed. changed. <laughs> yeah. it never ch- well, it did change. It, it, it completely changed. Yeah. It completely, <laughs> completely <laughs> changed without you. Yeah. Wayne Johnson. Changed without him. God, my f- like I I'll never forget his like pleas to people to go see the movie and how great it was doing and all this like smoke he was blowing up this movie's ass. Have you seen it yet? No, I refuse. Oh I don't no. want to. Yeah, you don't need to. Did you but, go to the premiere when he was in Toronto? No, I wasn't at that. But in hindsight, when I think about the DC movies that came out after that, Black Adam, we had it good. <laughs> <laughs> we had it good. Yeah. That's that's not saying much. Um, that's a that's a low that's a low pit of despair. So the next one's with Emily Blunt. You said, yeah, it's a rest. It's about. I think it's about wrestling or a fucking box. course it is. Of so course, box. It's a sports movie. Sure, so it's she a sports movie was fantastic last night. The bit she did with Ryan Gosling, I thought that was one of the best bits of the night. Yeah, yeah. Now that you mentioned that bit, yeah, an ode to stunt the stunt players uh, and all yeah. the stunt. Yeah. We're so appreciative yeah. of you, but we refuse to, to give you the your own fucking yeah. category. This is the best you're getting from us. We yeah. appreciate everything you do. And Bravo! They, and they didn't even mention the movie that they're in. No, like why the fuck would you not mention the movie? That's a perfect plug for the movie. That's why they're there together. Yeah. Not Barbenheimer. Mention the movie you're in, so yeah. they, which is all about some people. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking stupid. They did the same thing with uh, the Cynthia Avira and Ariana uh, the Wicked. They didn't yeah, mention Wicked. Wicked. They, didn't mention they Wicked just had either. the bearing to promote yeah. it. Yeah, because I but, told him, I'm like, it's because the they're, they're, they're in Wicked together. He's like, yeah. they are? I was like, yes, that's who's in Wicked. <laughs> Great. But the two of them riffed on each other really well. Like, if, Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. it was very It good. made me more excited, even though they didn't mention the movie. I was like, okay, if this is what the movie is going to be like, hopefully then i want to see it it. yeah it looks fun it looks fun as shit so with the stunt work acknowledgement yeah it's been a conversation for so long but then when we talk about what it was last night where they were like we're going to acknowledge you and see you but we're still not adding this category would you rather not have that at all or do you even consider what we got last night progress progress it's something um i would have just liked them to not have to take baby steps towards this fucking thing it's the academy come on everything's baby steps <laughs> it's been baby steps for years they've been ignoring the fucking stunt workers it's it's not time for baby it's not steps. it's not just the stunt workers they're ignoring yeah well they're they finally did a casting one jimmy's bit about the casting yeah one. aces yeah. that was but good. they finally did casting i just don't know why you're like here's the ode and then like after the ode they could have been like oh and bt dubs we have a now we have a new category like i don't know they just left themselves open yeah. and it was just like you didn't really do any other clip packages. Why? Why did you put this one here? Like, at least and it was, was more. Like, at least it was more relevant than what was it? Sean White and Tony Hawk introducing oh God. James Bond. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly Slater. Yeah. Kelly Slater. Yeah. 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 Daniel DeVito and Schwarzenegger were fun. Yes, they were very good with my boy Michael Keaton. Oh, yeah. that was aces. The stare he gave them. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Like, so yeah. good. So good. And they didn't mention Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice either, even though they had the music. True. Yeah, Al Pacino at the end. Well, I, I apparently he was okay. told to do that. He yeah. was told to do apparently that. He was told to he, because, because like I don't even think he knew where he was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was presenting. Hey, he's a get out there, open new the father. Envelope. Okay, like he's, he's just tired. Had a kid. Yeah, I get it. I get it. As <laughs> as the father of two, new baby, he's fucking exhausted, man. He's fu- that's why De Niro was sitting there and he was fucking angry too. He's fucking exhausted. What? Are, what? Are the, why are these men having fucking babies? Whole other podcast. <laughs> Whole <laughs> other podcast. <laughs> Whole other podcast. Jesus. Anyway, I was just, I was so, like, he just was, like, kind of fumbling. And, uh, 
I'm seeing Oppenheimer. I was, what is that? Did he have a stroke? Right? That's what I mean. On. I don't even think he knew where he was. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing, Al? Like, come yeah, on. You're on a... Uh... You're a first time fucking bridge. No, yeah. you know what? We play Briscola. Uh, that so makes more sense yeah. than bridge. <laughs> Talk about the old country? Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I think they're just a bit scared after the, you know, incident mm. of a couple of years ago. He was like, my eyes see Oppenheimer. <laughs> like, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it out loud. Just putting Whatever, it out there. Everyone was just like bewildered. They're yeah. like, I'm seeing Oppenheimer. And like everyone was like, Another ace of Jimmy. And then they cut, and then they cut away. Yeah. It was like so like, it was like, I was like, fuck, every, did they screw it up again? And then everybody's just confused. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, it was off. The camera over. guys are freaking confused too because they're probably, and the, probably the guys in the, in, in the box are probably, that are doing the, the broadcast. They're probably fucking yeah. confused too. It's like, oh, camera three, like, let's go. Like, I feel like they know now after yeah. the debacle with fucking Chadwick Boseman. I feel like they have a better idea now where they're not putting all the eggs in the basket where they have an idea that this is probably where it's going to go. Yeah. yeah, But even then they kind of fell into that trap a little bit again by making best actress, the penultimate award, right? But it was still, it not, was like, yeah, a, they, yeah. they were going head to head, right? That was yeah. the exciting award yeah. Yeah. versus Chad where they like, Best picture got nom but got announced like five, ten minutes ago before they get to that. And yeah. then Anthony Hopkins isn't there. And they're just like, okay, good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, these uh two, so Miyazaki aside, although I would I I are we gone from the days of people submitting just an acceptance speech in case they won if they can't be there? I feel like they need to Because it's bring like that so back. Oko Taco. It's like Miyazaki's not here, so we're just gonna accept this war. Wes is not here, so we're just going to take it. That was it. so upsetting that Wes Anderson wasn't but there. But did you see his... He uploaded a video. Oh, he did? I haven't well, seen it yet. Yeah, he's like accepting it. I didn't see the video, but I read what he said. Yeah. So it's worth it. Yeah, it's sure, really good. But yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like, so I don't know was who Was he actually on? at home making the set? Quarters. Quarters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it was just, you know, he's shooting somewhere in Europe and that's what it came down to. But yeah. yeah, but like, again, can we not get back to submit an acceptance tape? Like you yeah. can, hey, it's going to be two minutes long and we can cut and edit it as we like. You just send it in and we'll deal with the rest. Like. They should. They really. If should. you're not going to be able to make it, if you're in the category you're nominated, just send us one. If you especially win, we'll Miyazaki, play it. If not, like there was no way he was coming. Like he yeah. doesn't leave Japan anymore. No, and like, so whether, just whether he won or not, like he could have. He, he could have said the whole thing in or Japanese. He, sorry, he wasn't subtitles. It would have been fine. I don't know. I did enjoy Kimmel going. Oh, congratulations, Wes. We knew you could make him long, but I yeah. guess you can make <laughs> Shot as well. Make good. Short. Yeah. Decent movie. Decent movie. I saw that the other day. I liked it too. Yeah, that was, nice. I think, my favorite one of the bunch. That he, how many were there? Four. 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 Yeah, yeah, that Four. was my easily yeah, my seen favorite. The other ones, yeah. yeah, I was, I was happy with it overall. Yep, I enjoyed it. I think it was one of their most entertaining ones. I think yeah. it was their most non fucked up ones. Yep. Yeah, in a while, I wasn't bored at all. Even though it was pretty bog standard through it, it kept me entertained. Which yeah. is a it, it, good... it wasn't like there was huge surprises. No, like, there were yeah. a couple of good surprises, but. It was mostly like very by the numbers. If you followed the race, yeah, you shouldn't be shocked by who won. Yeah. No. <laughs> like even if I take my Nolan bias out of the whole thing, just as a show, it was well produced, yep. on time, jokes were good, entertaining bits. Yep. Among I haven't seen as many as you all have, but <laughs> among the ones I've seen, I definitely put it like up there. It was probably I've been watching yeah. for the last 12, 13 years now. So one of like the best ones, I would say. Top yep. three for sure. At least in the last five years, yeah. it's probably the best. One. Honestly, it's like, yeah, these ones, and it, it, we take these ones for granted too, because like the ones that always stick on my head are always like the most fucked up moments of like the Chadwick Boseman thing, the Big Willie, uh, Big Willie, whatever <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Moonlight. That, yeah. Moonlight. Yeah. I'll never forget Moonlight. Jimmy, Jimmy made that, that ace yeah. joke. Uh, too. Yeah. 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 That was great. You always remember the ones that had like a moment that, that it was like, woof. That's, that but, still sticks. That still chaps Abnisha's ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's it, when he learned. That's when he learned the hard way that he can't just 
go with his heart and he can't just yeah. he needs to take his heart out of it but in <laughs> high school he, needs to, be, fan. he, needs, to, he yeah. needs to be he needs to be rock hard <laughs> no. or rock hardened when he gets hardened. to the oscars yes. no so like i love La La let, it, let it bounce off you and I was made to believe it won for a little bit, but yes, dude, I got like, fu- I got fucked on it too. I got I lost money because of that. Yeah, he did yeah. win for all of like three minutes. Yeah. It was the winner. It was. No, but I've told Dave, I think that all these years later, in hindsight, I'm glad it didn't win because yeah. now people can just like love it without having this uh, thing guilt attached to it that oh, this stole the award from like the underdog that was you know needed to be seen and was yeah. more worthy and none of that narrative is gone people can just Enjoy are free it. to love the movie yeah. yeah that's fair i think i genuinely like moonlight more but that's for another I podcast moonlight once i, I just i just remember ryan gosling sitting in the background just being like yeah, smirking because yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he's yeah. like i don't give a fuck yeah. <laughs> he had the kennedy even even yeah. then yeah he had it had kennedy then but uh, something that as I, so whoever I spoke to in my friend circle who are not, you know, like they watch movies, but not super cinephiles. And then whoever I spoke to at work and I was like, oh, yeah, I was mostly excited to see Nolan finally win. And 10 out of 10 times, the reaction I got was Nolan hasn't won. Yeah. What do you mean Nolan's never won? And I was like, yeah, Christopher Nolan has yeah. never won an oscar like no way you're kidding like yeah so yeah people yeah. have won for his movies but he himself has never won so i just thought it was interesting that everybody who is up to date on these things or you know was v- very much aware of this but the general public who knows who who chris nolan is in a more abstract way just assume that oh of course that guy's won <laughs> like yeah well, he changed the Oscars forever yeah. when he got snubbed. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah. 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 And I really liked his quote on because I really wanted him to. My big hope for when he went and gave his speech was like, just leave us with something like it. Yes, of course, thank whoever you need to thank, but just leave us with a little something. Mm-hmm. And then towards the end, when he dropped that line about, oh, that cinema, we're only 100 years in. So imagine if we were only 100 years into painting or theater and how much possibility is still out there and yeah. i'm happy to be a part of that so, so yeah that's all i needed yeah. from him yeah. yeah it was really nice yeah and he got it from spielberg that's yes. game recognizing yeah games. yeah uh passing passing the torch, passing the torch. Yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah a very nice moment mm-hmm and he was a good sport with Kate McKinnon too. True, <laughs> with her tasteful nudes. That nudes. was another great bit. Yeah. yeah, the Kate McKinnon one. Yeah, but I think we have spoken enough. I about think the so. Oscars. <laughs> James is James is sitting there, and he's just. I'm just letting Dave take the driver's seat on this he, one because I knew want, you had thoughts. He wanted to. He need. He looks like he wants to keep going. Hey, it's future Jimmy. Um. This episode kind of went a little bit long, so instead of uh, making you sit here and listen to a full two hour long episode where we continually talk about uh, Dune for the next uh, about hour or so, uh, I've decided to cut this into two episodes. Um, So thanks for tuning into this Oscars one. You'll see the uh, you'll see the one for Dune probably sitting right above this one as a bonus episode. Uh, So tune in and listen. Won't you? It's uh, it's going to be a good time. And also now you can kind of take a break before you continue listening to us ramble on about uh, and extol our virtues upon Dune 2, the small independent French Canadian movie. Thanks for listening.